days are the Marshal La Llorona. What did we do? We are facing an evil that has no bounds. I think it was a film waiting to be made. I, you know, I've known about this legend ever since I can remember. Is she coming? She's already here. She's part of Mexican folklore. And I've heard about her just from my own family growing up. Everybody who's Latin knows about La Llorona. La Llorona in English means the wailing woman or the crying woman. I try to stop her! Who? La Llorona. It's a very old story. Some people think it goes all the way back to Cortez. I'm Panamanian and my father's Puerto Rican and in Panama they call her La Tulivieja. It's a different name but it's the same story. The story of La Llorona stems from a legend of a woman who drowns her children in order to get revenge on her husband, who leaves her for a younger woman. In her anger, she decides to hurt him in the best way she knows how, which is to kill what he loves most, which are his children. And when she realizes what she's done, she goes mad and drowns herself. And because of that, she was banished from heaven, banished from her children, and cursed to sort of roam the earth in search of children to replace them. And it is said that you can hear her wails, you can hear her calling out and crying. She's always on the search for kids. So you're always warned as a child to beware of La Llorona. The story that I used to hear all the time was, you have to behave or the West La Llorona can come get you. And we did behave and we did believe it, oh, big time. So it's a folktale. To some. 